Nairobi. All right, and the news of a church encouraging its believers to starve to death so as to meet their maker has left many tongues waging to most people. The big question is how a stranger can convince one to abandon their wealth or family or even career and opt to go for weeks without food, all in the name of religion. This was after authorities raided an 800-acre piece of land in Shakahola, that's in Kilifi County, where 29 were rescued and more than 73 bodies exhumed as of yesterday. Winfrey Owino explores Paul Mackenzie's teachings in the following piece. Na mabaraza ya madisi Na kotini Tukishutumiwa Na kushtakiwa Ya kwamba tumekataa kula madawa Wakati tumegoncheka Anaenda na peleka mashtaka This is one of the very many sermons By Paul Mackenzie To his followers Wazazi wa wafu Wazazi wa wende shule Wazazi wa wende shule Wanajua wa msomi 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 these are minors who attend Good News International Church and follow the preacher's teachings. <laughs> the world's attention was drawn to Malindi in Kilifi County after scary tales of starvation and death hit the headlines. Tales of people abandoning their normal routine to focus on Mackenzie's gospel reached the public and many wondered how a total stranger would convince someone to forego basic needs in the name of religion. <laughs> Most of his teachings are on his YouTube channel where he boasts of almost 6,000 subscribers. Since 2020, his consistency on the platform has dipped. His latest content is from a month ago. In one of his sermons, he speaks against the health system, the justice system, security agencies, education sector, government, as well as other religious leaders. He did not leave out government services such as Huduma Number and Vision 2030. <laughs> Akaja akafanya sarakasi alafu akarudi pale. Hakuna. Shetani ni yule yule unaamka naye na hata wewe mwenyewe unaweza kuwa shetani kama utajiangalia vizuri. In his sermons, the Bible is a prop. He rarely opens it and when he does, he reads one verse from it. His teachings are drawn from the book of Revelations, the only apocalyptic book in the New Testament. In almost all his teachings, he tells his followers to forego worldly pleasures and focus on prayer and fasting. At some point, he criticizes a market seller who goes to church only once a week. So extreme are his teachings that Mackenzie released a gospel song called The Antichrist, in which he claims that the Catholic Church, the United States of America, and the UN are agents of Satan. In a recent interview, Mackenzie said he started prophesying in 2003 and stopped in 2019 when he heard a voice from God. It is reported that he started alongside his wife, Joyce Mwikamba. Madaktari wakija hapa, mwakikisha watoto ino wanapigwa chanjo. Wewe, pastor wadini, unajua chanjo ni nini? Na serekali unajua ni nini? Na chanzo chaka unajua ni nini? Uu jinga utawaisha lini? Musipo hacha kula mikate mkili ya yesu munafikiri uu jinga utawaisha? His extreme messages have landed him in trouble with authorities. In 2018, the KFCB boss shut down Mackenzie's TV station for airing the wrong content. He has also brushed shoulders with Aisha Jumwa, who questioned why he kept sick people in his church. Nataka niambia serekan. Mackenzie lazima atiwe mbaroni na endele kukaa huko kwa usalama wake maana akitoka nje hana usalama News of what happened in the church came to the public after a report was filed and investigations began. It is through the probe that over 58 bodies have been found buried in his 800-acre piece of land. 
Hainuliwe Yesu. Mara yusu rudi. Mackenzie was arrested alongside 13 others and detained in police custody by Malindi Chief Magistrate Elizabeth Usui for 14 days to allow for investigations. He is set to appear in court next Monday. Winfrey Owino, KTN News. Relatives of victims of